Hey there, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we're looking at the complete serve this week in five parts. Today we're on part number three, and there's two elements that I want to look at today. Before we get to those two, I want to jump back to our most recent video and get Mark kind of into this idea of a figure eight motion, creating just some nice rhythm back and through, moving up through what would be an invisible ball up there. Awesome. I think Mark and I would agree though, there's something missing here, okay? And it's, it's that idea of, hey, let's, let's play some athletic tennis. Let's hit an athletic serve. Part one today would be the shoulders, all right? If you notice, as Mark's going through just this cookie cutter, you know, figure eight drill, his shoulders are staying very level across. And if you see a great server, they don't swing to the ball with their shoulders across. What we want to start to do is get this lead shoulder much higher and the, and the back shoulder or the swinging arm much lower. I like to think that that's at least a 45 degree angle up towards where the ball is going to be and therefore where contact's going to be. This has everything to do with power. A player that sets the shoulders in that position working up to the ball is going to create a much bigger kind of flushing action at contact than somebody who's staying more straight across. So really key to get those shoulders vertical. Left shoulder in front, right shoulder dropped in back. Really good there, Mark. Okay, now with all those shoulders going on, I still think something's missing. It's because we haven't touched on a knee bend at all yet. Even going back a couple videos to Mark rocking from back to front, we were doing that with just straight legs. Not really an explosive action, just a rhythmic action. So what we would want to add now with the legs is a deep knee bend. So notice as Mark goes through and gets the shoulders prepped in that up position, the legs go the other direction, especially that lead knee. If you notice, that's his weight bearing knee. We want more weight, obviously, to that front side than that back side. So yes, this knee's bent. That front leg is going to really help him work up to the tennis ball. If we don't have a knee bend, there's just no way to maximize reach and therefore maximize power. So let's look back at a, at a figure eight drill. Actually, let's go one mark without the shoulders, without the legs, and just compare the difference here. So just a nice cookie cutter figure eight drill. Again, kind of nice, but kind of boring. Now we get the shoulders working more upright, the legs bending down. I think you can see we're going to get a great result out of a player who preps their serve like this versus somebody who stays more across with the upper body and keeps the legs, I guess, a little more inactive. All right, great job there today, Mark. All right, so that's all I got for you guys today. Hope that was super helpful. We got a couple more videos coming this week to complete this total serve. But until then, please click like below this video. And if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please do so, as well as check down below me in the description of this video. You'll find the link to three free courses that Mark and I have put together. I think you'll find those really helpful as well. All right, so until next time, be well, and we'll see you soon at Daily Tennis Lessons.